Hello everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Joel Mayan. I am with Antalya Bilim University, uh, Turkey, the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Um, I will be speaking about our latest work on the design of a recurrent neural network based channel prediction in massive multiple input multiple output for enhanced performance in wireless communications. Um, so the outline of uh, this presentation is as follows. Um, I will start by giving a brief introduction uh, to the massive MIMO, then um, a discussion or the uh, discuss the motivation behind this work. After this, uh, we will review the novelty of this work. We will then um, examine a channel prediction in massive MIMO. Um, then discuss the proposed recurrent neural network based uh, channel prediction. We will then analyze uh, some results and finally talk about uh, the conclusion and future works. Uh, multiple input, uh, multiple output system uh, employs multiple antennas at uh, the transmitter and or at the receiver. Uh, this technology has been classified as one of the high potential feature wireless communication technologies um, due to its uh, unique properties such as high user capacity, uh, increased spectral uh, density and diversity. Also, uh, technologies such as uh, beamforming can be integrated, uh, as we heard from the previous speaker, where beamforming is a signal processing technique uh, used for directional signal uh, transmission. Uh, moreover, MIMO has been uh, integrated into uh, state-of-the-art wireless uh, network uh, standards such as uh, IEEE 802, uh, 3GPP, uh, long-term uh, long evolution, and uh, LTE advance. In a massive MIMO system, uh, the number of antennas in MIMO basically increases to hundreds. Uh, research has shown that massive MIMO is a promising wireless communication technology with the ability to have very high user capacity and support um, high uh, network performance. This is basically a key requirement for 5G and IoT and beyond technologies. However, uh, we know that outdated China state information uh, causes major performance degradation in massive MIMO systems. Uh, outdated China state information is uh, basically occurs when the information about uh, the obtained channel, channel at the transmitter uh, changes before transmission. Well, this phenomena caused, caused by variational uh, variations in the channel uh, uh, response due to the presence of highly mobile and rich scattering and uh, our data channel uh, state information, as I said, uh, leads to major performance degradation, such as uh, net, uh, 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 such as uh, low capacity in the network. However, a channel state prediction is a unique uh, a, a technique used to estimate uh, the characteristics of the channel in order to mitigate the effects of outdated channel state information. And neural network uh, as an artificial intelligence technique is an effective and recently proposed uh, model for uh, combining outdated channel state information uh, without wasting uh, resources. In this work, we consider a combined massive MIMO and neural network based channel prediction model as a revolutionary technology for uh, future wireless communication. Uh, we employ the use of recurrent neural network to design a low complexity channel state information prediction for massive MIMO. Uh, RNNs are effective in evaluating time series data due to their ability to utilize current and historical data and uh, during prediction. Uh, more specifically, we use long short term evolution uh, uh, units, uh, which are special RNNs uh, with special gates to prevent diminishing gradient and other RNN challenges. So now consider a transmitter and a receiver signal in a massive MIMO model, such as uh, let's say S of T and R of T respectively. H of T is a matrix that contain the channel uh, impulse response. So due to variational variations in the channel and processing delays, the channel may be updated and that is a H at time T is not similar at, uh, as H at time T plus tau after which, uh, uh, after the delay, when the signal is supposed to be transmitted. So the goal of, uh, of, uh, of the design predictor is to estimate H uh, at T plus tau and 
uh, at, t at time t to be as close as possible to the actual value uh, at t uh, plus tau. Um, as we said earlier, the uh, LSTM or long shot uh, uh, term memory cells uh, use historical and current data. Uh, in addition, they have gates such as the input gate, uh, the output gate, and the forget gate uh, for enhanced and accurate prediction. Uh, the forget gate, for instance, uh, uh, decides which information should be uh, discarded and which information should be uh, used to update the model. In this system, we also uh, utilize dropout to prevent vanishing and exploding gradient to uh, the statistics of the design predictor. Um, uh, of the design predictor, we use two LSTM layers and uh, two dropout layers and a dense layer, a dense layer. The model was uh, trained with data, uh, with data channel from almost 128 antennas. Uh, we train the model and plot the vanishing gradient uh, and training loss at the vanishing and the training loss. And as we can observe from the figure, uh, the two loss, uh, losses continuously decrease while converging, which is an indication that the model is neither underfitting uh, nor overfitting. Additionally, uh, we plot the true feature and the predicted feature of the channel the blue dots uh, uh, showing the true feature and the red dot showing the predict feature. And as we can observe, the model is able to learn the pattern of the expected channel response. Uh, increasing the number of epochs and training data can be an option to increasing the accuracy of the model. In conclusion, uh, Massimo is a technology with great potential for enhancing wireless communication in the future. And this work has demonstrated that RNNs can, can be used to enhance maximum prediction by um, combining uh, the outdated Chinese state inf uh, information uh, problem while maintaining low complexity and low cost. Uh, in, in the future, we intend to, to study more ways of improving the accuracy of the predictor. Also, an extension of this work has been published at uh, RS Open Journal uh, communication technology and all the codes can be can be accessed from researchstore.com. Thank you for listening. I can take your questions now. Uh, thanks, Joel. Uh, can I ask you a question? How many LSTM layers do you use? Uh, we use two LSTM layers. All right. And uh, what package do you use for that? Uh, you... We 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 used we used Python. Um, TensorFlow. Yes, TensorFlow. All right. Thanks. Any more question? Yes. Sure. Yes, please. Uh, for uh, for I wanted to be asking for the channel the problem. 